Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have more news today as always. So without further ado, we'll get straight to it. And the very first thing that I have for you guys is a very exciting reveal that I know many people were waiting for. We have the upcoming Eofauna Tyrannosaurus Rex. We get a nice look at the sculpt, nice look at the paint job. I think sculpt wise, it looks honestly perfect. It looks really good beautiful looking t-rex we've got lips on it of course an articulated jaw all of that fun stuff the paint job i have seen a lot of people you know take a strong liking to personally i'm not the biggest fan of it i'm not really sure what it is i think it's more or less just like the goldish brown sort of tone that we have i'm not a huge fan of but i think it still looks nice and natural and everything so i mean that's definitely a good thing it's just not my first choice as far as what i would think coloration wise looks good on this model but this still is a very cool looking t-rex and i'm really quite excited to see something new from eofauna and what's even cooler is the fact that if you guys are interested in picking this up i actually can help you out with that because i have a discount code for you all as always dan's dinosaurs has stepped up and given me a discount code again to get you guys five dollars off of this new sue the tyrannosaurus rex from eofauna so if you are interested in grabbing this head on over to dan's dinosaurs as soon as the video is over and use the code andy at checkout and you can save yourself five dollars off of this really awesome tyrannosaurus also, as always, How Long Good is back at it again, and we actually have multiple reveals here, but the very first one that is available currently to purchase is the Talatolophus. And again, I don't know for sure if I pronounced the name correctly. I'm not that familiar with the Hadrosaur, but I am familiar enough to know that this is a really nice looking take on it. And it's a species that outside of, I think, the Ancestors line, I've never seen anyone create one for. So definitely hyped to see this model be again released by how long good we've got two different paint variants as we usually do both look really nice i think nice naturalistic coloration overall especially when it comes to what i like to see on hadrosaurs and uh, again it's a, just in general a very welcome species to my collection and i'm sure many others since there just are no models really out there again outside of the ancestors line version and those are a little bit more pricey models so not everybody has the chance to get a hold of the ancestors line models whereas this again released from how long good will definitely make it a lot more affordable and easier for people to get a model of this species in their collection so if you are interested head on over to lana time shop or whatever retailer you normally use for how long good and grab both of these or at the very least one of these brand new hadrosaur figures I also wanted to let you guys know that we are definitely getting that 135th scale Alamosaurus from How Long Good. We have images not of the actual figure here. We basically have images of what the paint schemes will be as well as of course what the figure will look like. But it's not the actual figure itself. But I think both of the paint schemes are honestly fantastic. They actually had put up a little bit of a poll on the Paleo Figure as Facebook group to basically get people's opinions as far as what color schemes they should go with and these were the two that were chosen and again i think they honestly are absolutely incredible for something like this they look really natural but again very flashy my personal favorite is that bluish one but this is officially available to pre-order right now and there will actually be on top of the you know again first and second paint scheme we've seen here there will also be a third version a very basic limited edition version and uh, you can see that one right here which is the actual figure itself but that one again it looks nice definitely looks like the type of coloration you would expect for a sauropod but i'm partial to the other two but we of course have a pre-sale period currently which will end on december 30th and whoever pre-orders it will receive the finished base and two random unpainted pterosaurs apparently this is the information that paleo figure has had put out as far as this model goes and uh, I honestly am very hyped for this one because it's going to be gigantic. And if you need further proof of that, you can see the figure here basically with somebody holding it showing you that it's absolutely gigantic. But we also have this image here that shows off the model next to some other How Long Good releases. And you can very clearly see it is quite sizable. 
Also, as far as Dino Dream goes, it appears as though they've already teased a few more models. They are just knocking these out of the park as far as the sheer amount of releases they will have. First of all, we're going to have a Velociraptor pair with the Velociraptor cage. So that's really exciting to have a very high quality cage. And of course, the Raptors look great. And I'm not going to shy away from grabbing myself some more Dino Dream Velociraptors, especially after, you know, how good the first set that they had released was. And this looks like a really neat model, but on top of that, one that came out of left field for me, and I was definitely not expecting, is this. We will have the Giganotosaurus, the Jurassic World Dominion version of the Giganotosaurus coming from Dino Dream. I think I had seen somewhere mentioned that they were going to release this in 1 30th scale, so that means it should be a pretty big model as well. And of course, we only have these images right now, but I'll definitely be hyped to see this when they actually unveil the model fully painted and everything because I'm a pretty big fan of the Jurassic World Dominion Giganotosaurus, even though a lot of people hate it. I actually really quite like it, so definitely cannot wait to see this one when it's fully revealed with the paint apps on it. On top of that, we finally have something new from W Dragon. They are re-releasing their Tyrannosaurus Rex, and they've kind of switched it up a little bit as far as this one goes. You can see the coloration looks pretty similar to what we had seen before. Fairly reminiscent, maybe slightly altered a little bit on this newest version. But what is cool is, first of all, we've got an articulated jaw for the figure, something we didn't have previously. And we also have a little bit of like a difference in the face. They've kind of altered a few things just to update the Tyrannosaurus a little bit. And we do not have lips on this version. We did have lips on the previous release. No lips on the newest version. But I think it looks great. And, you know, I have the original one. I would definitely love to get my hands on this newest one as well. And, of course, add it to my collection and review it for you guys. So if you are interested in grabbing this, keep an eye out. Because I'm sure it'll be going up for pre-order at some point soon. And then as far as Nanmu goes, they have finally unveiled their upcoming articulated Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptors, fully painted, giving us an idea as far as what they are going to look like. And man, are they dreamy. These are absolutely a dream come true for many if you are interested in articulated figures or just Jurassic Park 3 or Jurassic Park in general. Again, these are fantastic. The sculpts are spot on. The paint jobs are spot on. I had reviewed the Velociraptors they had recently released and uh, they were amazing. So I can only assume that these articulated Velociraptors will be just as, if not even more amazing as the other ones. And these will be going up for sale very soon. And I believe the price point is going to be around the $30 range, which is pretty insane considering again that these are such gorgeous quite nicely sized and incredibly well painted articulated dinosaurs like this you know that's a pretty darn good price and uh i think they're basically basing the potential for other articulated figures in the future off of how good these sell so everybody if you are interested make sure you grab these raptors so that we can let nanmu know that we would love to see more articulated figures from them in the future and then as far as Mattel goes, we did have some images floating around of the upcoming Velociraptor Blue and Dimetrodon 2-pack that we had seen teased a little ways back. And I think with these new promo images, basically shows you that these are absolutely just repacks. There's nothing new really to them that I'm noticing. I was hoping for maybe some slight differences, but... They look like they're basically just the same figures we had just now thrown in a new pack. So nothing super exciting as far as this goes. But I mean, if you happen to have missed them previously, this will at least give you a chance to grab them again with this newest release. Also, a thank you goes out to Collect Jurassic for this image, but we also have the blind box codes for the minis. If you did not see my recent review that I had put up of the newest minis from this wave, I did want to show this off just so you guys can get an idea as far as what codes go with what figures if you find the new Epic Evolution minis in store. On top of that, again, thank you to Collect Jurassic, but it appears as though that green, that kind of teal green, Epic Evolution Triceratops is a real thing. It's actually been showing up in many different stores, and from what Collect Jurassic has stated, it seems as though the gray one is actually not the primary release here, and the gray one is being phased out over time for the new teal green version. So if you were interested in grabbing this figure, and you really want that gray one, or white, however you want to term it, because some people have been calling it white, 
I would definitely grab it soon because if that information is in fact correct, that means that soon we will be flooded with this greenish version and the uh, gray one will be a thing of the past. So if you happen to have that gray one near you, absolutely grab it right away just in case. Again, that is true. You don't want to miss out on that. And otherwise, make sure you start looking for the greenish one as I am currently and we can all add that one to our collection as well. And the final thing I have for you guys, again, is Mattel related. We have the Fierce Changers coming back again. We did recently find out that there were some more of the smaller ones, the like hidden hatcher figures that Plush Boy Q had found. It appears as though there is now a new version here of the Ceratosaurus and Ankylosaurus Bumpy out. And of course, me being an idiot, I had gone ahead and purchased this because why not? So if you are interested, a review will be up very soon on the channel once I acquire mine from Amazon. But this one is up for sale currently on Amazon.com. So if it looks like something you are interested in, definitely head on over there and grab yourself one of them again before they sell out. Because you just never know with Mattel stuff. Sometimes the stuff is just gone for months on end. So again, if you want one, I would grab it ASAP because you just don't know what will happen. But I think it looks kind of cool for what it is. Again, it looks just like all of the others, which I wasn't a huge fan of in the first place. But specifically the Ankylosaurus Bumpy version, I think actually looks kind of neat. So sort of excited to get this one in hand and take a look at it with you guys but i'm not really a big fan of the fierce changers as a whole so at the same time i'm not nearly as hyped as i would normally be for a new mattel figure so as of right now guys that's all the news i've got when more comes out i'll be sure to send it your way but until then please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching